Hello there. Uh, I wanted to guide you through how you can use uh, my Extra Life Donation Tracker uh, on OBS in order to um, track your donations um, for um, f this is on Linux uh, Windows would be similar but I'll make a different video later for Windows so the first thing you want to do is you go over to my uh, github repo and I'll put the link uh, in the show notes and uh, you click on download here actually the best way to do it is come to the releases so you'll have one that you know works and you can pick a Tarda Gzip, or you can pick a zip. It's up to you, whichever one you're more comfortable with. I'll do the Tarda GZ. And you'll see that it downloaded. Um. <laughs> All right. And that went to my download folder. Okay. So we'll come over here. And um, let me uh, grab it out of my download folder and we'll bring it over to my temp folder all right so now I'm going to um, unzip this or extract it um, you can also do that in the command line if you prefer to do it in the command line okay and here's all the code um, that was on the uh, on the github page if you uh, go back over here Uh, you can see the same files all right so now what should you do well you might notice a slight jump versus uh, what you were just seeing on the other screen and that's because I've changed things up a little bit in this new version and I just want to change for the video the parts that are different so what you do is um, if you look here you've got a few more files than you would have seen before you just go to uh, participate.conf. I'm going to open it in VI. All right, and there's just a few things you have to change here. Your extra life ID. That'll be at the end of your URL if you go to extra life and visit your page. Uh, the folder where you want to save the text files, and I'll show you later in the video how you use those in OBS. The currency symbol if you use something other than dollars. And the team ID. For now, you should probably just leave it as null. The current version of my program doesn't do anything with the team ID. I hope to change that in the future. All right, so from here, we'll go back to the previous instruction. All right, so um, there's two ways to run it. Um, let me show you that code again. Um, if you are, if your Python 3 lives in the same place as mine, then you can just do um, dot slash extra life donations pi. Uh, if it lives somewhere else, you can do something like Python 3 extra life donations dot pi. Uh, either way, once you run it, you'll see this output here. And um, the API has a uh, certain amount of times you can hit it uh, before they kick you off. I think it's something like um, 30 seconds. And so you should see there it'll come up every 30 seconds or so. This is kind of your way of knowing that everything's running and everything's going okay. So now that that's happened, let's come over to OBS. And uh, so excuse the uh, infinite screen here, but uh, basically what you want to do is you want to come here and uh, you want to make a text window. Um, and uh, we'll call this one, uh, well, we'll call it goal two. So I had a uh, an error while I was trying to do this before. Okay, so you should. Okay, good. You are seeing that. Um, so what you want to do is go here to read from file, browse, and go to where you saved those files before. So, oops. So for me, that is in Dropbox, Eel Tracker. We'll do goal. So there's your. This is what came in from uh, from the running script. And uh, all right. So we'll do, and you can do all kinds of things here, like have a drop shadow if you want to be, if that helps, or an outline if that makes it easier to read, we'll do the outline. All right, so there we go. There's your $500, uh, which is my goal. Um, so one thing that you might wanna do, um, now you would use, um, let's see, horizontal. 
So the file that you would want to use here is called um, last, five donor, last five donor name amount message horizontal or uh, do, 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 do. yeah. Um, so right now that has nothing because no one's donated. Uh, but you'd use that one, and it would it would you can make it scroll across like some some people have their donation scrolling. So I'm going to show you how to do the scrolling with the goal, even though it's going to look kind of silly. So you want to right click, click on filters, and then add the filter of um, scroll, and then just do a horizontal scroll. And there you go. So if that had everyone's um, names and donation amounts and their messages, that would show up there, and you would see it scrolling across. And so what you would just do is you would go across the, um, the bottom of the screen like the oops, well, it's not going to work with this one because it's not a long thing. So it's going to scale. It's going to scale uh, upwards as well. But basically, it would look like it was coming across the whole thing. So um, that's what you would do there. That's how you, you would make use of the text files. Um, let's see what else would actually still have text right now. Uh, maybe the amount of donations I've had. Let's see. From five. Um, total raised. Zero. I've raised nothing. So here's how much I've raised. I've raised nothing. All right. So if you look here, it's still running. It's uh, it's pinged the API uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And at any of those times, if someone had donated, it would say, what did I tell it to say? Um, somewhere in here, I think I had it print out a message like, hey, we had a donor. Um, but uh, at any, oh, here we go. We got a new donor. And then um, if you had the text on the screen over in OBS, it would automatically update. Um, so. There you go. That's how you make use of it. I hope you find this uh, short tutorial useful and uh, that you're able to, uh, to use my donation tracker. Um, if you have any issues, if you discover any bugs, um, just go to um, the GitHub page. You have to make an account, of course, and you go here to issues and open a new issue. I also use issues for tracking um, for tracking features. So that's what these two um, GUI uh, issues are. And um, and yeah, I'll try to fix uh, whatever bugs I've got in the code. Um, so thanks a lot and uh, happy extra lifing.